what's up everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to another episode of vlogmas if you are new here my name is deja and it's so very nice to meet you so for today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys my christmas wish list these are just some things that i'm currently looking forward to purchasing or looking forward to owning down in the future not saying that i'm necessarily asking for these for christmas um everybody who's who i'm expecting to buy christmas presents i told them what it is that i already wanted but these are just some things that i really have interest in so i thought it would be a good idea for me to share my list just in case you may be struggling with trying to find things or items to shop for your girlfriend your wife your sister whoever so i will try my best to leave all of the items linked down below in the description box even though it may be a little hard because it's like 30 30 plus items and I'm not even sure if the description box is going to have that much space but before we even get into the video you guys know what the drill is if you have not yet make sure you guys go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you are new definitely go ahead and click that subscribe button to be a part of the family and join the gang I would love to have you make sure you turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I upload next yeah let's get into it so I have my phone here with everything that I plan on you know speaking on so like I said the first topic is clothes shoes and accessories um, with it being winter time typically every year I try and buy like another new pair of boots and I was scrolling through the UGG website just to see you know what type of boot I can buy and I saw these UGGs which I'll list I'll try and post pictures of all of the items that I'm talking about on the screen so you can see but the first item that I will want is a pair of UGG classic mini boots in gray I don't know why the gray really stood out to me but I'm just like when I saw it, I'm just like oh my god this is so cute like I said, it's different from just my typical tan, brown, and black. So I would definitely love to have a pair of those for Christmas or just in general for my birthday. You know, my birthday the 30th. So, you know, this could be a little little gift idea for my boy, for my parents, whoever. And then the second item on my list would be the Skims Cozy Collection. Um, for those of you who may not know what Skims is, it is Kim's Kardashian, um, Kim Kardashian's clothing line. Skims is just Kim, Kim spelled backwards. Um, but their cozy line, I've really been taking an interest to lately, but not even just their cozy line. Like everything that Skims has from what I've been seeing based off of other people wearing is just like really, really cute. And, um, another YouTuber by the name of Jalissa Yvonne, if you don't know who Jalissa is, where are you? Um, but she posted some of her Skims favorites and I'm just like, oh my gosh, there's just like little normal, casual, around the house dresses, the robes, the pajama sets, everything. I was just like, I love, and I love the color. She has some very unique colors. So um, I would definitely want to try out something from that collection. And honestly, don't even gotta be the cozy collection. It could be anything from Skims, honestly. So yeah. And then the third item is a teddy coat. So I just feel like for the winter time, every female needs to have a teddy coat in their collection. I purchased one last year from Fashion Nova and it didn't really fit right up in my shoulder area. So I returned it and I really never looked back to try to get another one. But I really, really want like a long, rich brown. Um, I've seen some on Shein, but you know, Shein sometimes could be a hit or miss. But um, a teddy coat is just really something that I've been like desiring lately. And like I said, I feel like every female should have that in her collection. The fourth item is just a pair of sneakers. Um, these are the black and white Air Max 270s. Nothing crazy, but um, if you guys know me in general, or if you guys have been around for my channel, you know that I used to work at Foot Locker, and my sneaker collection is looking a little slim. Um, during COVID, I got rid of some stuff, so I'm really looking to like re-up my shoes, especially within 2022. And then this next item is also a pair of shoes as well. I know I'm be butchering the exact name of what it's called, but it's a pair of Steve Matten shoes. The best way for me to describe it um, are canvas shoes. Um, I'll link the picture, like I said, up on the screen, and probably when I find the exact name put it on the screen as well and they're cheap to be a designer shoe quote unquote well not quote unquote steve madden is the d designer but i feel like they're pretty cheap so that is also a pair of shoes that i would love to pick up and then the next item would just be some workout sets um if you know me you see me around i'm always wearing leggings i'm always wearing like a little workout jacket like workout gear is really like my casual day-to-day -day type of outfit ain't gotta be from nowhere crazy it don't even have to be it don't gotta be expensive it could be from warmer honestly because that's where a lot of my stuff is from but i just really want some um, more workout sets and then the next item is just an accessory um it is a jewelry organizer case um i've been seeing uh, these floating around a lot lately um i definitely seen one the other day in target and it was really really cute um right now all of my jewelry is pretty much just in like this white acrylic um cube drawer from like Walmart I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about but like them little white plastic dressers that they have they have like a whole bunch of smaller sizes so I definitely want to pick up a few of those just to like swap out um the clear 
plastic dressers that I have right now just to make my dresser and just like my area look more cute. Okay, and this next item is a bag and I love me a good bag, especially a tote. I love big purses so I could carry food and snacks and just like all that good stuff and everything in it. And although lately I've been loving some of their bags, I have a few from them. I'm about to butcher this name because I don't know how they be making up the name for their bags. But I don't know if it's a Leah Gatori. I don't know but y'all gonna see the picture but when i saw this bag i was like omg like i love the i don't know is it crocodile print the print on it the like leather print on it and like the gold hardware black and gold just does something to me so when i saw that bag i was like i need to have you it's big it's my perfect size at least from what i can see on the website because sometimes although you'll look on the website and the bags look big and you see it in person and it's not that big so i would love to have that as a gift the second item is a pair of accessories as well a pair of jewelry just some gold finger rings nothing crazy i feel like gold rings are cute when it comes to like fashion depending on what type of outfit and everything that you have on they definitely have some good jewelry so i would love to have some finger rings from them speaking of jewelry the next item on my list is a gold jbw watch now, if you're on YouTube, if you follow any, like, if you follow Kyra, I'm Unique, if you follow um, Aaliyah's face, just all them, like, high-end Kayla Cake, you guys will know what JBW watches are, and I absolutely love their watches. Of course, I really want to go watch just so, you know, days when I want to look a little bit more fancy or look more dressed up or just want to have a different option than my Apple Watch, I can have that. Um, and JBW, I love their watches, so I specifically want a gold one lots of diamonds around the watch face so the next item on my list will just be some sweater dresses it don't have to be from anywhere crazy or nothing like too specific but just because it's winter time and i dress up for work i feel like that'll be a perfect staple for this season the next item on my list is another bag i don't know about you guys but on instagram i've been seeing like these particular bags that say like protect black women or protect black people and stuff like that and i've always wondered where they were from and then finally an ad came across my timeline and I saw the website and I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I think it's C's or whatever. I don't know, but whatever website it is, I'll have it linked down below and they sell these bags. And I think they're really, really cute. They remind me of a Teflor. If you know what a Teflor is, then you know. If you know, you know. Um, they remind me of that, but I love the slogan on it, the Protect Black Women. Um, and they I saw one in brown and I thought it was really, really cute. They come in different sizes too. Like I said, y'all know I like big bags. So I'll prefer that bag, a brown one, and the largest size. Another item on my list for that is a pair of satin or silk pillowcases when you wear bonnets and everything and sleep i don't know about you, about you guys but for me it's like my bonnet never stays on that night and if your bonnet comes off and you're rolling around on like your pillowcases depending on the texture of it it can really mess up and damage and dry out your hair and silk pillowcases are perfect for protecting your hair so i really want some silk pillowcases just so in case for the times that my bonnet does clip off slip off my hair will still be protected because of the type of pillowcase that i have and then the last item for this section is honestly just some bras if you're a female, you know how hard it is to come across some good quality bras. Um, I feel like that's like a never-ending purchase. So, honestly, bra me. Honestly, I don't know. But, yeah. <laughs> So moving on to the next topic, this one is fragrances and candles. And if you guys have been keeping up with my newest but latest videos, um, you guys know that I've been getting into fragrances and candles and stuff. This is one particular perfume. When I first saw it, I'm just like, what is this? Because of the shape. So um, this fragrance that I really, really want is called the Carolina Hair. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her last name right. But you guys know when I say it, the good girl the good girl perfume it's the bottle that looked like a stiletto you will see it on the screen i really really want that one and i just found out that they that she had two when i was looking um on sephora i saw that they had a red one too so the blue one is called the good girl the good girl and the red one is called the very good girl i haven't smelt that one yet but i, I just already know because off of the notes and stuff i know i'm gonna love it because i love like spicy sensual scents and whatnot and that's what that that's what the very good girl gives i would definitely love to have that perfume probably mainly for the bottle than the actual scent but i definitely want that one the next one is the fenty perfume when Riri released that perfume, well, I think, what was it, in, like, September? I really, really, I tried. I tried to grab it, but it was just, like, as soon as I hit the website, that, didn't, that it was gone. It was gone. It was, like, no point of return. I don't know when she's going to restock. It's not in Sephora. I wish it was. I need her to come and make some more because I really, really want to try it. And then this next perfume, honestly, is a stretch. It is a stretch. 
only because time for it is expensive for no reason for a reason but for no reason like he ain't gotta be that expensive <laughs> um but i really want to really want to try the soleil blanc I'm pretty sure i'm saying that right the white perfume the white bottle i really 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 want to try that um everybody has been raving about that everybody raves about time for perfumes in general so i really want to try him out and i'm not needing for it right now because like i said it's expensive but like later on in the future i would definitely love to have that perfume and the oot wood both of those i would love to have both of those and then the last item as far as perfumes is the giorgio armani c passion so i was just in sephora sniffing scent trying to see what it is that i wanted to buy and i smelt the normal c but then they had a red bottle and you know me i saw the red so i'm automatically just thinking like spicy moody type of um fragrance so i went and smelt it and the red one smells so freaking good but i cannot wait to get my hands on that perfume so the next item on <laughs> this list is the candles honestly just give me the entire forever mood collection Give me all of them. I love every single last one that I have purchased from her. So if I'm gonna buy more, you know, Bath and Body Works is good and all, but I love Jackie Ina better and I would love to support Auntie Jackie. So if anybody wanna purchase any type of scent or if anybody's thinking about buying them a candle, go to Forever Mood and grab me the candle. And while you at it, grab me her little candle set. <laughs> this is the next item on the list. I really need a candle the candle kit you know the one that comes with the trimmer the wick trimmer the wick dipper and the snuffer i really really need one because you know before you burn it you're supposed to cut the wick down and as you as i'm continuing to burn you know the wax is going to get is going to melt and right now i'm just using my scissors and it's hard to get to the bottom and trim the wick so i really really need a trim wicker if i don't get anything trim wicker a wick trimmer if I don't get anything else, I just really need a wood trimmer, specifically probably in gold and with a little tray. Amazon has it. They're very, very cheap. Okay, so this next topic is tech equipment and YouTube gear. The first thing on my list, honestly, when it comes to this topic is a new camera. I, it's not a need. It's a strong desire. It is a strong desire for me to get a new camera. I, I'm not expecting anybody to purchase me a new camera, but I really, really want a new camera specifically for vlogging. Right now, the camera that I have is the Canon M50. And when I was first purchasing a camera, I was torn between the G7X or the M50. Um, mainly because i was trying to find something that i could use for vlogging but i can also use for sit down videos and give me like a lot of um options and things to choose from i love my m50 i want to keep it when it comes to sit down videos i could swap my lenses out and do a whole bunch of other stuff um but when it comes to vlogging it is just like way too big it's not way too big but it's too big like the lens itself is too big the body is not that, that bad but the lens itself is too big that it makes it hard to like travel with sometimes and y'all know whenever i'm vlogging my camera always want to die so it's like when it dies i can't put it in my purse because it's too big so i always just find myself you know having it on my shoulder carrying it like a purse so i really want a new camera either the g7x or the sony i'm pretty sure it's the a6100 um it's not a need like i said it is a strong desire because i can be perfectly fine with the m50 it's just i'd rather have something that's more compact i can put it in my pocket put it in my purse and stuff like that and it makes it easier the second item is the iphone 13 pro max in silver with the 256 gigabytes there we go the next item is a newer ring light and i'm not saying newer as in like brand new i'm saying newer as in that's the name of the company newer i think it's n-e-w-e-e-r and newer is amazing when it comes to their lights when it comes to their quality and then the next item is a vlogging light to go on top of my camera if you guys have been watching my vlogmas vlogs you guys have been you know knowing how i've been complaining about the lighting within my house I haven't really been having that much of the issue until like vlogmas because typically i don't really vlog that much so i definitely need a light on top of my camera so i can give y'all better quality for the rest of vlogmas <laughs> next item is a airpod watch and iphone charging station pretty much it's just like a little stand that you can charge your iphone your airpods and your watch all at the same time it's good when it comes to like saving outlets and not like having cords and everything all over the place because everything is just like in one thing and it just needs one plug um so that's something that i wouldn't mind having for christmas the next item is a new lens right now i film with the lens that came with my um camera and the kit the quality of the camera or this type of camera is also you know it, it, it plays a factor into your quality but the lens 
the lenses are like the game changers when it comes to that but i really really want a sigma lens i really want something that's going to give me low aperture so that way when i'm filming all of this behind me is blurry and like i'm standing out next here i really want to focus on getting my quality better we was filming on the phone we got the camera i'm cool on that now just like i want to get my quality better so that way you guys are more entertained when it comes to filming so the quality of the video even when it comes to editing as well i want to get the final cut pro this is the next item on my list is the final cut pro um editing software right now I use imovie which is free for any um apple product final cut pro is low pricey but it's a one-time purchase and it's yours and that's it and then the final and last topic is just makeup hair and body care the first item is the charlotte tilbury bronzer and the next item will be the fenty the body butter i'm pretty sure it's called the butter drop and the hand cream i have fenty skincare stuff and i love it so when it comes to her body care i need all of it i'm pretty sure it's three of them it's the butter drop the hand cream and she has an exfoliant so i feel like all three of those especially with the winter time would be a perfect gift not only for me but for your sister your girlfriend your loved one whoever then the next item is something that like most recently came up into like hmm i really want to try you out um is the patrick star one size blurring setting powder i knew patrick star had a makeup line but i really never paid attention to him until i saw a video on youtube of him doing someone's makeup and the powder it gave the most like blurring like smooth effect to the under eye and i was just like i need to try you <laughs> and then the next makeup item is the hourglass veil setting spray it gives you like a soft focus look is what i really want the next item would just be some makeup brushes from morphe morphe makeup brushes and real technique brushes i absolutely love you know if they're a beginner and they just want to try it out real techniques will probably be the way to go because it's cheaper but even not even if you are og in this game like the real techniques brushes and their sponges are amazing and then this next item i have been wanting for a while i feel like when covid first started when we were when we first went on lockdown i'm just like i want a facial steamer i don't know what came across me just like i've been really wanting a facial steamer i have one in my amazon cart but not just the facial steamer but the one that comes with like the kit and like a little spa headband and amazon have a lot of them that are cheap i think the one i have in my cart is black and gold like i said black and gold has me in a chokehold i love that combination together i feel like the facial steamer would be a good gift for any girl that is into beauty that is into like skincare and just taking care of herself that would be the perfect gift and then the next one it's just like, hey, it's cliche, but it's like, it is what it is. Either a Sephora or Ulta gift card. I don't really care for Ulta, as you guys saw in my video, but they do have a lot of brands when it comes to like drugstore and stuff. I'm more of a Sephora girl, but give me one of those gift cards with a nice hefty amount. My boyfriend got me one last year for my birthday and he blessed me. I literally bought a whole new makeup, a whole new set of makeup. So I feel like a Sephora gift card or an Ulta gift card for any girl in general, just be the perfect gift, especially towards the end of the year. You set her up for success. For the new years and then the last item is just the olaplex number seven bonding oil and the number three repairing treatment but i just heard about olaplex when it comes to when it came to me trying to find um you know the best way for me to color my hair um and apparently they're really good for repairing like damaged hair especially when it comes to like being bleaches and that's been like processed and stuff a lot of hairstylists use olaplex so i really want to try them out but yeah that is it for this video that is just all of the items that i'm just looking forward to just like purchasing one day in the future not even necessarily just receiving for christmas but these are just all the things that i need to get my hands on um i hope this was a good like gift guide for her at the time of recording this we it is 11 days until christmas so like it is time to knock this out if you are a, a late christmas shopper like me hopefully you can get your hands on everything that it is that you need to get but let's chat comment down below and let me know what is something that you are expecting for christmas i would love to hear what you guys are looking forward to don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys on the next episode of vlogmas we are almost there we almost there here how about you give you give yourself your own shout out there you go right. well, <laughs>